In this tutorial, I'm going to show you one way to add checkboxes into your Excel spreadsheets, and we'll look at how that can be useful to you. In a previous video, I showed you how to use a form control. Here on the Developer tab in the Controls group, you can insert form controls, and I showed you an example of one of those. There was a lot of interest in that video, and so I promised to make another form control video, and here it is. So you can see in this spreadsheet, I have an employee list with some basic information about the employees in a hypothetical company. And I would like to create a couple of columns with checkboxes. So for example, have they updated their contact information for the year 2020? And have they completed the driver safety training? And there really are two or three different ways to add checkboxes and to think about them. I'd like to show you the easiest example first. So here in cell E2, I would like to create a checkbox. Now the absolute first step that you need to do is to make sure that you have the developer tab. It's not there by default. So for many of you, you won't see that. The way you get the developer tab, there's a couple of ways you could click on here, but probably the easiest way is to right click on the ribbon. So I'll just right click here, customize the ribbon. It brings up some options that I can use to change the way the ribbon looks and what options appear there. And I'm just going to go here to the right side where it says main tabs. And you'll notice that I have developer checked. If you don't, you need to check that if you want to add checkboxes like I'm about to show. So I'll click OK. I have the developer tab. So I would like to add a checkbox right here. All I need to do is make sure I'm on the developer tab in the controls group. And I click on insert. Here are all the form controls. Now there's two sets of form controls. There's ActiveX controls. Those are a little bit harder, but more powerful. But in this case, I don't need anything that powerful. I'll just go with regular form controls. These are easier and they'll do the job in this case. So here it is, checkbox form control. I'll just click and then I need to click on the screen where I want that checkbox to appear. So I'll click right there. Now it didn't quite go in where I want it to be. And if I click away, you can see that. And if I click back on it, look what happened. It just checked the box. Well, I want to move it up a little bit and line it up correctly with Gina Pullen. So the way to do this, you can't left click and drag. You have to right click and drag. So not your typical process for moving something, but just because of the nature of form controls, you do have to use right click drag in order to move these form controls in many cases. So I'll click move here and that's a lot better. Now you'll notice the checkbox comes in with some text. Sometimes you want that text, sometimes you don't. In this case, I do want to use the text, but I want to change what the text says. So I'm gonna right click on it, click edit text, and I get a cursor now that I can use to erase. So I just tapped the right arrow key and I'm gonna use the delete key on the keyboard to delete what's there and I'll just type in updated. So if this checkbox is checked, I know that this person has updated their contact information recently. I'll uncheck that for now. So now I need to do all of that all over again, right? For Marcelina Restrepo, for Regina Loftus, and for all of these other wonderful people. Well, the good news is that you can click on, in this case, E2, and you can use the autofill handle, this little square in the lower right corner of the cell that's selected. You can click and drag and pull that down, and look what it does. It just copies the contents of that cell all the way down, and in this case, the cell had in it a form control. So that's a big relief that you can just click and drag to add these checkboxes all the way down the spreadsheet. So that really is pretty easy, pretty doable, right? To add simple checkboxes. Well, I want to show you a little bit harder example, but I think it'll be rewarding for you to watch this. It is possible to use these checkboxes for more than just a visual cue that something has been completed or that some characteristic can be applied to this person or thing. So I'm gonna click here on F2 in this case. Again, on the developer tab in the controls group, I will click insert checkbox and do the same steps. Right click and drag to put it in the proper place. In this case, I'm gonna right click on it and just delete the text, just so that you can see that you do have both options. So the checkbox now just simply means that yes, they did complete the driver safety training. 
But next, I'm going to right click on the checkbox and I'm going to go down to Format Control. And this brings up some options for that checkbox. What's the default value of that checkbox? Unchecked or checked? Or mixed? Mixed is basically grayed out. I'm going to go with unchecked. That's the default. Next, there's an option for a cell link. So I can link this checkbox to a cell. And the results of this checkbox can go to that other cell. So I'm going to click here on this arrow. It's a button. So I click there. And now it hides the rest of the options. And now I can just click on the cell that I want to be linked to this checkbox. So I'm going to click here on G2. And then I can go back and click that arrow again. That's great. If I want to, I can add some 3D shading to the checkbox. Let's see what that looks like. So now I click OK. And you can see my checkbox now does have some 3D shading. That's kind of cool. Now look what happens when I check the box. Because I linked cell G2 to the checkbox, it's telling me whether it's true or not that the box is checked. And it's also saying it's true that they've had the driver safety training, right? That's all linked up. So this is great. I like this a lot. So now let's try the same thing that we did before. Let's try the autofill handle to copy this down the page. Now it's a little tricky here. Sometimes if you click, you might be clicking on the checkbox. So just be careful. You might need to right click in order to select the cell. But just get that same autofill handle and you can copy it down. Now let's see if it works. Notice when I check one checkbox, they all get checked. And they're all working off of G2. And so that's a problem. I need to right click on my second checkbox and go to form control and I need to update this to be G3 and then I'll go back, click OK, and then I'll click away. Let's try it now. Okay, so now it's working independently from the other ones. And so this is one of the downsides to the way the checkbox form control works in Excel. I am going to have to update each of these. Now learning the pattern, I can just go in and type. I can just type 4 for G4 and it works. So I'll be honest, this is a little bit of a hassle, especially if you have a giant spreadsheet. That's why I think in this case, the example of a list of employees for a small business or a mid-sized business, I think that's a good example of when I would do this more difficult, more complicated kind of checkbox, because this way it's not an outrageous amount of work. If I had a spreadsheet with a thousand records, I don't think this would be a wise way to create checkboxes. And there are other ways that you can get to something similar to this. In my opinion, these are the best methods for adding checkboxes, but this is the downside, what I just showed, that you have to update the cell reference if you want to use the data the way I'm about to show. So give me a minute to fix the rest of these form control cell links, and then I'll resume the video. Okay, so I've finished updating these, and now you can see that I can very easily mark whether or not each employee has completed their driver safety training. Now the nice thing about having this report false or true is that then you could set up a formula, basically an if statement. You could click here, so this cell is equal to if, and then you could basically say if this cell says true, then do something. You could also use conditional formatting as well. So for example, I could have the employees who have not completed the driver safety training highlight in red so there's a visual cue saying that they need to get this completed. And then of course, if I wanted to, I could even hide this column. Just by right-clicking on the column letter, I could go down to hide. And that true false, true false, it still exists, it's still in the spreadsheet, but it's hidden from the view of the people that look at the spreadsheet. So now it's just about the text boxes, at least visually. If you're interested in seeing how I could make the records light up in red or green or any other color by using the conditional formatting and also the ways I could use if functions to do some things with this spreadsheet, leave me a message in the comments below and I'll consider making a follow-up video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for a new video from me at least every Monday. 
If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. Mm -hmm.